Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Scott Bicklin, and we are live from the Farmington Civic Center for some of the final rehearsals of Young Frankenstein, which takes stage later on this week. I'll be talking with some of the actors and, of course, the man behind Four Corners Musical Theater, Randy West, when we come back with KSJE on the road right after this. KSJE On the Road is supported by Four Corners Economic Development, supporting and building economically vibrant businesses and communities in the Four Corners region through effective partnerships. Forsed is a public-private partnership that unites county and municipal governments with its member businesses and other resource partners to build the intentional economic future of San Juan County. Learn more about the ways Forsed is helping existing businesses thrive and grow and attracting new businesses to the community at the number 4 cornersed.com. <laughs> There are days when the weight of the world is heavy on your shoulders. But there is something you should know. You are never alone. There are beautiful people in this world who will walk with you when you feel off course, guide you when you need it most. They are there for you. And they're closer than you think. KSJE On the Road is supported by Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency with local offices in Farmington and Durango. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance provides their clients a consultative, customized approach for discovering and mitigating risk. Their four-step comprehensive approach includes commercial insurance, employee benefits, personal insurance, and proactive safety and HR tools for growth-oriented businesses. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency. At San Juan County Partnership, our mission is a thriving and healthy community. We strive to achieve this through educating our youth about eating healthy, moving every day, and the harmful effects of alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. We educate adults about access to health care, the dangers of polysubstance use, and drinking and driving. We work hard to keep families housed and to help those without permanent shelter have a place to call home. We are here for you. We are San Juan County Partnership. KSJE On the Road is supported by San Juan County, building a stronger community since 1887. San Juan County includes the San Juan County Sheriff's Office, San Juan County Fire and Rescue, San Juan County Office of Emergency Management, and Riverview Golf Course in Kirtland. The mission of San Juan County is to provide responsible public services through the direction of the County Commission, while striving to be professional, courteous, and committed to improving the quality of life for citizens that it serves. Learn more at sjcounty.net. I love my job. I make a difference in someone's life today. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Please help me, my child. Sending the paramedics to help you stand the ward. The payoff to know that my career provides someone with the help they need when they need it. That's why I do what I do. Back to the Farmington Civic Center. I'm Scott Bickley with another edition of KSJE On the Road. And joining me, as he is always so gracious to do, Randy West from Four Corners Musical Theater, also the supervisor of the Farmington Civic Center. And Randy, thanks for joining me. Well, Scott Micklin, as I live and breathe, it's always a pleasure. And thank I'm you. still living and breathing, thank goodness. 
But, glad uh, about that. It's always great to hang out with you. Thanks Thank so much for coming down to join us at Four Corners Musical Theater. Thank you for letting us interrupt your rehearsal. Anytime. One of the, one of the final rehearsals for Young Frankenstein right. opens Thursday night. Right. Here at the Farmington Civic Center. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday at 2. This weekend and then again next week. Right. So 7.30 right. Thursday through Saturday. Right. 2 o'clock Sunday. And then next week, same schedule. Thursday through Saturday at 7.30, and we close at a 2 o'clock matinee on the 27th. Gotcha. And we are literally just off the stage, and uh, this is some of the final work for uh, Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. Right? Right. Big tap dancing number. Well, I'll tell you, in the movie, it's a little thing between Gene Wilder and the monster. Right. And in this, it starts out with the two of them, and then you add all the other principles... And then you, th this is a four minute dance, tap dance break. We've never done a four minute <laughs> tap. We've done tap sections. Sure. We've never really done a four and a half minute tap dance. Before. Right. And then, uh, uh, and it actually ends up with, in the course of this number, everybody but Millie, who plays Elizabeth, his fiance, everybody else on the whole show is in this number. How about that? So Terrific. that's. You know, Mel Brooks, you can't get too big as far as Mel oh, Brooks no. is concerned. Oh, no, you cannot. Putting on the Ritz! There you go. <laughs> Putting on the Ritz! Exactly, there you are. And so, um, so with that being said, I mean, this is, I think, the first Mel Brooks production you brought to Farmington. Yes. Am I right yes, with that? Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, there's something about it. Isn't there something about Mel Brooks and something yes, about yes. His, his, the script, um, the timing, all there of There is. Well, we, um, we, we did... One summer, we did Spam a lot, and we announced it as Monty Python humor, mm -hmm. and uh, it pulled well. We got a good audience. Sure. Many audience members were wanting to throw punchlines at us as we're saying it. That could happen here. Right. All of the classic Mel Brooks movie humor is here. What happened was, I've always thought this was a funny musical, and I always thought it had great musical theater elements in it. But uh, the Mel Brooks version that premiered on Broadway was three hours and 40 minutes long. Oh. And uh, it was on my hold and wait list because that's just too long. We're a, we sign a professional contract. So technically, I can't change a line. I can't, right. uh, I can't, change, I can't cut anything. And so... Um, this show, that was the Broadway show, went to the West End in London and was revived by a professional theater there, and it's just called the West End version, Young Frankenstein, and it, it from, th from three hours and 40 minutes, it went down to two hours and 20 minutes. Now, that's workable uh -huh. for us, and so we started seriously looking at it, and I got to tell you... Um, the difference between the the three hour forty and the two two hour twenty, there's nothing in there that I desperately miss. I mean, all the all the classic humors there. I mean, some of the numbers are cut down because they were really 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 big on Broadway. So maybe they they cut a little of the middle and compressed it together. There are some reprises that aren't in this. It's uh, it's a very loaded, still, in my opinion, Mel Brooks telling of the story. Gotcha. And, and he wrote the lyrics. Right. And he did the suggestion of all the songs. And then, of course, a composer came in and uh, orchestrator and, and built that out. Susan, Susan Stroman, who's like a legend on Broadway, um, was the director choreographer of this. And they'd done Producers together, which was a huge hit. And so there was, there was a good, solid Broadway creative hand in the middle of it, and then Mel Brooks. And, uh, you know, this is a, an in, there's some interesting stories to the movie in that uh, they had just done uh, Blazing Saddles, which was a huge hit, and uh, Mel Brooks wrote most of the script for Blazing Saddles. Richard Pryor mm -hmm. wrote a big chunk of it, and... Uh, and when, when he was getting serious about shooting the movie, the first actor he showed the, the Waco kid to was John Wayne. Oh. And uh, 
John Wayne read the script and came back to Mel Brooks and said, it's hysterical, it's really funny, it's not the kind of comedy I do when I do comedy. He said, I don't think it's right for me, but I'll be the first person to buy a ticket when you do it. Okay. So it had the John Wayne Western seal of approval. You're right. And then um, uh, they hired Gig Young because they wanted a movie movie star. Gig Young came in, and if you remember in the Mel Brooks movie, when we first meet the Waco kid, he's hanging upside down in a jail cell. Well, at the time, Gig Young was really suffering the effects of chronic alcoholism. So he went up there, and as soon as he went upside down, boy, he was sick for two days. Oh, I bet. And so in the middle of that, they decided that he just didn't have the stamina to do a big physical. And uh, he'd, uh, so they called Gene Wilder. And so Gene Wilder went in as a Waco kid. And then the, the Lee, uh, Cleavon Little role was written for Richard Pryor, but he also had sub- substance abuse problems, and they couldn't insure him. Sure. So right. yeah. there's writings of his in there. Interesting. But so th- there was all this moving around, and, of course, Mel Brooks played, like, three roles in Blazing Saddles. When they came to this, uh, this was mostly written by Gene Wilder. And uh, Gene Wilder said that he was fine with Mel Brooks collaborating and directing, and he would, he would do it as long as Mel Brooks wasn't in it. Hmm. And so he said, I want you to direct. I want you to just wrap yourself in that. So I think well, Mel that's Brooks... that's very diplomatic, isn't I know. it? Right? Well, yeah. Mel Brooks appears as the sound, the, the who of the werewolf. When they kick the cat, he's the rare. And there's, there's one more sound in the movie that's Mel Brooks. But other than that, he's not in Young Frankenstein. Interesting. And actually, if you look at the movie, what they did... Uh, the 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 original Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein are really revered in the annals of the early uh, Universal monster movies. I right. mean, they they're pretty solid and very. You could learn how to do a classic, a monster movie from those two movies alone. That's what they put together mm-hmm. to make Young Frankenstein. That they really they go into the fiance. And 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 the, the 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 more the bride of Frankenstein before we end uh, the musical. Gotcha. And so it's a lot of it's a lot, but things that were just lines like in in the uh, boy if if any horses yell here they're really on top of this, but in the movie when Frau Bucher every time they say her name horses uh, nay, um, in the in the movie it gets to the climax and she just says yes. He was my boyfriend. Well, here, that's a whole song called He Was My Boyfriend. And so lines of the movie are now uh, themes for musical moments. Right. Gotcha. And, of course, just in time for Halloween. Absolutely. I mean, that's Halloween. no mistake. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Absolutely. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Uh, we do on occasion. <laughs> yes, you do. And, you know, we started out with Rocky Horror, yes. which is all over the place. People mm-hmm. really loved Rocky Horror. Right. But then we did Sweeney Todd with some really great Broadway talent mixed with our core talent. And Sweeney Todd is funny, but it's got that core. It's called a musical thriller. It's not called a musical comedy. And, uh, and that was a, another, I mean, I remember. I don't know how many gallons of blood you used oh. in that in that. We had mothers that brought young kids, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I hope they know what this show is. And they they emailed me or they came to see me afterwards, and she said, this turned musical theater around for my kids. Uh And I went, ooh, I hope hope this is going in a good way. Yeah, right, right. And she said, my two kids thought that there was no story in musical theater. And at the end of it, they said, Mom, this was a whole story story told in acting and 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 singing and and, and scores and uh yeah and it is yeah. you know it's it's considered an opera it's it, many opera right. companies do Sweeney Todd so that was kind of our dark one and then we came back and we did Little Shop of Horrors which is funny creepy mm-hmm. and then this is mostly just funny yeah I mean uh it uh there, there is, and I, I'm just, it's, it's rated PG-13. There is, a, there is a side of Mel Brooks that is a middle school boy <laughs> that's still doing middle school boy humor. Right. He's done it in all his movies. He's, I mean, it's been his go-to. Yeah. 
I mean, when, when there are big, huge knockers on the door to get into the castle, he's not going to ignore that. No. I'm just saying that's all here. Um, that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Now, talk to me a little bit about the cast that you have brought together, back together for this right. production. A lot of them are folks we've seen before. A lot of them are in parts that we maybe have not seen them in before, and that kind of stretches them as actors, which I think they like. They love that. You know, I mean, if you're an actor, you want different parts. You don't be yeah, absolutely cast, right? Well, we try not to do that here. Um, I would say... Except for some presidential type people yeah, that you hire yeah, like once you, in a while. You always play while. important people for us. <laughs> I don't know but, that. Uh, yeah. And I always, who wears a comedy tie. Re- I always play comedy relief, which is not <laughs> true. I've never been in one of our shows here. <laughs> no. But I am kind of comedy relief. But, um, yes, the, the way our season functions is, um, first of all, the professional theater company, which is called Four Corners Musical Theater, mm-hmm. and is the professional company of the city of Farmington. So we are actually a city of Farmington entity. And, uh, but we found almost immediately, a. Uh, we already had the Heather McGoy Children's Theater here. Mm-hmm. We broadened that to be the Heather McGoy Four Corners Theater Academy. So we're doing shows for kids throughout the years. We just finished the teen show. We're about to do a show we're about to talk about in December for the kids. And then we right. do the littles in the, in the uh, spring, which is 8-year-olds to 12-year-olds. And then in... Uh, in February, we have auditions for the whole community, and we put some community adults and some young people in the Sandstone five-week musical. And then the August musical is more loaded with teens and kids and adults. And, and when we do that slot, there's, there's always two or three parents that want to do the musical with their, with their kid. And... Uh, I, I can't resist that, just so sure. you know. I think that's such a fun summer memory. So nice. in the summer, we're all about digging our roots into the community. And, and, and everybody that I hire for the summer, I send them an email that says you're getting hired for three things. You are wildly talented. You, uh, you, you want to mentor locals, including young people. And when you mo- walk in a room, most people would say you're the nicest person in it. So if you're talented, want to mentor and you're nice, take this contract. Because that's, that, that's really another thing that we're happy to do in the summer. But in the, in the school year, we do the uh, Halloween musical, which right now I think we have a cast of, it's, it's small, it's like 18 to 20 total okay, people. Right. Now, you can blow this that's up no to Wizard 30 of Oz, or 40. But it's, yeah. Wizard of Oz was 84. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of bodies to yeah. move around. But this is, and all these people you know, make their living, or at least part of it, doing professional musical theater. So, uh, they're, they're, and we call these people that we hire back the core company. Mm-hmm. And you have to earn that. You have to do a couple of shows, show us that you understand the way we run the company and, and that you like doing the way we do musicals, and then we add you to the core company. I don't think there's anybody in the show that hasn't worked with us before, many of them seven or eight times. Now, we do have a brand new musical director out of Jared Lee. He came out of New York, and we are delighted to have him. We have a new production stage manager out of Johanna. And, uh, we have, and the set designer is out of Cortez High School in Colorado. Their thespian group comes down and watches all of our shows, and then we do a, quest, a Q&A with them. And when he was a junior, they did Hello, Dolly! there, and he designed all the sets, and he sent me copies of all the sets and said, can anybody ever submit to you? And I have had stuff submitted to me. Right. So he submitted. Okay. He did the plans. He did the models. And this set was designed by Cruz Hernandez, uh, who is now a senior thespian in Cortez. So there's a lot of new stuff going on here, but all of the cast has been here before, and if you follow our musicals, you're going to, I mean, uh, Brian Songi, who does a lot of our shows, he was the Cowardly Lion in Wizard of Oz. He was the coach in uh, Damn Yankees. He is Igor, or Mm -hmm. Igor, depending on who you're listening to. Matt, who's been with us from the very beginning, played last summer, he played... Uh, the devil, and then he came back and played the best Tin Man I've ever seen and something I've done anyway. I've done it four times. He's playing uh, Froderick or Frederick, uh, depending. Uh, let me ask, two very different roles. Yeah. And now oh, three. Oh, totally different. Now three very different totally roles, different. right? I mean, yes. a totally 
hard to tell it's the same person, and, uh, which is the sign of a good actor. And, and Emma, who was Dorothy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in uh, Wizard of Oz, is back as Inga, who is his assistant, who's kind of the sexy blonde assistant. And Millie, who played uh, sister in Damn Yankees, the crazy blonde sister of the two sisters, right. is back playing Elizabeth, who was Frederick's fiance. And wasn't she Auntie M in she Wizard was of Oz, Auntie too? M. So, again, different, very, very different, different parts. And uh, yeah. uh, 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 Chase was the big, tall tenor in the, in the baseball team. Right. And then uh, Annalise, who played the reporter in Damn Yankees, she took a contract doing theater in Texas, so they had to go move her to Texas, so he didn't do Wizard of Oz. But he's 6'4 in real life, and we have him, except for this, we have him in uh, six-inch shoes. So the boots are six. So he's almost seven foot tall as the monster. Imposing. Yeah. Imposing, yeah. And then Sean, who's in all our shows, he played the Wizard of Oz, Right. In Wizard of Oz, he's playing the police officer, which happened in The Bride of Frankenstein, who right. had his arm and his leg torn off by the uh, monster and okay. has a wooden arm. And that's the running gag for Shane, Sean's character in this. So nice. a lot of people you're going to recognize. Very, very good. Now, you mentioned your music director, and we talked to him before yes. we sat down. So I want to play a little bit sure. of what he told us about being a part of the show Great. for the very first time. Sure. So let's watch that real quick, everybody. Here we go. Join me now, Jared Lee, who is the music director for the show. And thanks for talking with me. Your first time yes. here yes. in Farmington, right? Yes. How are your experiences so far? It's awesome. I, I'm a city boy from the East Coast, so it's been really cool getting to see some of the, the scenery and mountains and just really kind people here in Farmington. Right. And this particular show, have you done this before? Uh, yes, this will be my third time doing Young Frankenstein. What's your favorite parts of this uh, show? I think it's probably the, the kooky, crazy score. Like It's got a lot of bells and whistles and string runs. Uh, it's really exciting to listen to. Very good. And working with your actors and singers and dancers, how are they doing? Oh, they're top notch. I couldn't have asked for a better group to take on this crazy Mel Brooks score. Right. And what is it about Mel Brooks? What is it about the writing and the timing and all that? It just seems like it's unique. Yeah, it's uh, it's very specific for sure. Um, and, you know, finding a group of actors that really understand comedic timing is crucial to uh, the project. Right. Right. Very good. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. We are back in the Farmington Civic Center with my guest, Randy West, of course. Some of the final dress rehearsals that you're seeing right now live from the stage of Young Frankenstein, which will uh, premiere this Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. And uh, you were talking about some of the other actors that you have uh, starring in Young Frankenstein and some of the folks that we're familiar with. Margaret Clare is another one. The Mount- Margaret Clare plays Frau Bucher, who... It, my horse is not very good. You know, yeah. it's... It's one of those association that Blucher is close to a German word that means soap, and they used to make horses out of into soap. So that's the gag. Right. But it it's it, I had Margaret who speaks German and uh, do some research. It's about five words over from getting close to soap. Okay. So right. it's a reach, but that's what Mel Brooks is doing. Sure. So every time she says her name or somebody else, you hear horse whinnying. Gotcha. Well, let's, let's listen to Margaret and uh, hear what she has to say about her role in Young Frankenstein, everyone. Yes. Claire is here, and she is... Frau Blucher. That's how you pronounce it. Yes. Got it. Very good. And, uh, have you done this show before? I have not. This is new for you. I know the movie by heart, but I okay. have not done the show. Okay. So how's it going so far? It's really, it's a big show. And um, there are a lot of set moves. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of production. But we are having a blast. Nice, nice. And so um, Mel Brooks, so unique, so funny. And He is so I funny. I think you have some pretty funny lines. I do. I'm so lucky. Actually, it's it's an ensemble piece, essentially. So we keep trading off being funny okay. throughout the cast. Right. Is there one particular part of the of this production that is your favorite? I really love the music. It's it's very fun. It's fun to to move to. It's fun to kind of fit your comedic scenes into. But the, the writing is is just he's so funny. He really understands timing. 
Right. And a lot of the folks that are in this production certainly have worked together before. Is yes. it nice to kind of get the gang back together? It is lovely to do that. And considering um, the speed at which we put this show together and the complexity of it, and especially with the timing, the fact that we know each other so well makes that easier. Right. Like two weeks, two and a half weeks. It's yeah. really not much more than that, is it? Right. It's about yeah. uh, 10 days rehearsal. That Randy West is crazy. Oh, he is crazy. Isn't he? Yes. Oh, no. Got it. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. The crazy Randy West is here with me talking about Young Frankenstein, and uh, and the other actor that we talked to is Matthew Matt Aaron. Aaron, who is singing behind us live He's right, right now on on stage. He was. There he is. But yeah. There is. And so uh, he's been a part of your shows from the very Since beginning. He I think, did the very right? first show. Yeah. And so uh, wonderful to have him back. I yes. think. And again, we talked a little bit about the rehearsal schedule, which yeah. is pretty intense. I mean, and that's. Yes. I guess why well, you hire these professional there's folks. There's a lot well, packed in this show. Yeah. I mean, there's just a lot in this show. Right. But they come and they know their lines mostly, and then they start fine-tuning it. Right. It's really a two-and-a-half But we do this all schedule. in 14 days. Yeah, two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. All right, here's Matt. Let's hear what he has to say. I should probably mention so. Speaking with me now is Matthew Aaron, who is uh, the first name of your character. I've already forgotten it. Frederick. Right. Frederick Frankenstein. Actually, it's pronounced Frankenstein. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> I stand corrected. And so how is this show to be uh, a part of the show? Oh, uh, it's it? so much fun. Uh, working with, you know, a lot of people that have done shows here uh, in the past. It's most of the funniest people that we've worked with in the past and just coming together and figuring out all the different bits that we can make out of things and, um, you know, kind of leaning into who has the joke, who's the straight man. So it's it's a lot of fun. And it changes, uh, right, from oh, scene yeah. to scene, does it not? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we all, have, we all get to shine a little bit. Nice. And so this is kind of the third production, I think, that I've seen you in this, this year. This year, yes. Well, well fourth. At least the latter half of the year. I was, yeah, I was here. You were a baby, baby, too. Yeah. That's right. Lots of, and each character is very, very different, if I must say so myself, from the previous one. Oh, yeah. Well, this one is, is this one's a lot more kookier than right. anything else I've done. So. Right. How is that as an actor to be able to kind of explore these different roles and be able to perform them on stage? It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's, it's getting a chance to kind of play different things instead of always the same kind of archetype, um, especially... You know, leaning into something as crazy as Young Frankenstein. Uh, right. You know, I've got, I mean, I do have big shoes to fill with Gene Wilder, you know, uh, being the first Frederick. Right. And trying not to do that just because that's in my brain, you know. Right. So it's hard, it's hard to, to steer away from some of that to make it my own. Um, but you but seem to do that every time. I try. I yeah. try. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, working with Chase, who's our monster. Um, he's so great you know that's that's a it's the unsung hero of this show for right sure. right looking forward to seeing it oh yeah thank you very much thank you thank you the cast uh, more from the cast of young frankenstein in their final rehearsals behind us here at the farmington civic center i'm scott micklin along with randy west and uh another person who's back of course is your dance teacher right instructor yeah. artistic sarah teacher. harkness yeah. i've, I've no, known sarah harkness since she was 14 and uh, she's been the choreographer for almost everything we've done with Four Corners Musical Theater. She's now my associate director and the choreographer. And, and wait till you see her work in this. It's so, it's so fun. It's so silly when it needs to be silly. And, and like I said, a four and a half minute tap dance that we've never attempted to do before. Right. Also, Ed Hasenbog has been with me since we founded the company. He's my technical director. We, we really have put together great teams at this point the creative team the technical team and certainly the core of the company we're coming back and we do a musical in march that's all core right again and in the middle of that i'm just going to tease this in december okay. we're going to do a first time only show with our the very very best of our young people with a christmas theme and all the money collected will go to the academy. And that might be around December 12th, 13th, 14th. I think that's true. I think that's true. So as we say in the business, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. All right. We'll be back. But Randy, thank you. Of course, always great to visit with you and learn about uh, what you're bringing to Farmington. And uh, it's going to be great. We're looking forward to seeing Young Frankenstein. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, matinee, Sunday. Right. This week and next week. Right. The 17th so we actually the finished before Halloween. A little bit. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. A little okay. bit. And I just want to always say that it, it, 
Farmington shouldn't take for granted what this man does for Farmington. And, he, and that's literally for everybody in Farmington. But he is such a staunch supporter of the arts. And I just want to make it clear to you that does not go unnoticed by us. It means a lot. Thank you, well, Scotty. You're very kind. Thank you, Randy. Randy West, and thank you to the city of Farmington for supporting the program and the work that you are doing and uh, and keeping it going here thank in you. Farmington. So that's important for all of us thank to enjoy. So thank you all for joining me. Another edition of KSJE On the Road. Where we'll be next? Who knows? But we'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is KSJE On the Road.